Let's analyze this question. There are four letters, four envelopes, and exactly one letter is to be put in exactly one en envelope with the correct address. If the letters are randomly inserted to the envelopes, consider the following statement. So this question can actually be solved using the basic counting strategies as well as the logical reasoning skills. It's enough to solve the question. Okay, then let's say there are four letters A, B and C. A, B, C and D. There are four letters and corresponding four envelopes. Let's say A dash is the corresponding envelope for letter A. Then you have B dash, C dash and D dash. Okay, now let's take statement one. So statement one is saying that it is possible that exactly one letter goes into an in incorrect envelope exactly one that means they're saying the statement one is saying that only one letter can goes into an incorrect envelope okay let's take an example here let's say a is going letter a is going to an incorrect envelope let's say it's going to b dash it is actually supposed to go to a dash right so a is letter a is going to an incorrect envelope b dash so actually Letter B should be going to B dash, right? Right now, B should go to any one of the other envelope. So definitely we can say that more than two letters will go to incorrect envelope. It's it's a common logic. Because if A is going to a different envelope, let's say B dash. So there should be a B here that is supposed to go to B dash, should go to another envelope, which will be an incorrect envelope. By default, right? So definitely more than one letter will definitely go to an incorrect envelope. So we can clearly say that statement one is not true. So option A is gone as well as option C is eliminated. Now let's analyze statement two. So statement two is saying that there are only six ways in which only two letters can go into correct envelopes. There are only six ways. So let's let's take a scenario here, okay? Only two letters are go can go into the correct envelope. Let's say A and B are going to the correct envelope. So that means A is going to A dash and B is going to B dash. Right? These two are going to the correct envelope. That means the other two letters C and D are going to the incorrect one. So C is going to D dash and uh, D is going to C dash. It's possible. So this is one scenario, right? Where A and B is going to the correct envelope. But any two letters can go to actually the correct envelope. Any out of four letters, any two of them, right? So one case is AB. So just need to count how many different possible scenarios are there. Okay, case one is uh, A and B are going to the correct envelope as we discussed here. It's also possible that A and C can go to the correct envelope. Also, I can say A and D, right? There are three cases here. Similarly, it could be B, C, B and C letters. B and C could go to the correct envelope. Or it could be B and T, right? All the letters with B and T is possible, right? Next scenario you can think about is letter C and D also is possible. Letter C and D goes to the correct envelope. So if you am counting them, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So total six ways are possible. So actually, the second statement is actually correct. So option B has to be the right answer. You just need to use the basic logic of counting here to get the right answer. Also, you can use the permutation and combination concepts here. So statement two is saying that how many ways you can select two letters out of four. So which is nothing but out of four letters, how many ways you can select two, four C two. So the here we have listed down the different scenarios, right? Instead of that, you can always use 4C2, which is nothing but 4 times 3 divided by 2 factorial, which is 2. You can cancel it out. It's 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. But here in this question, you just need to list down the different possible scenarios. That is more easy. And you can, you can definitely get the answer six ways. So statement 2 is true. Option B is the right answer here.